Hey, good looking, welcome. Hey, today's workout is an at-home beginner's leg and ab workout. So this goes with my beginner's series and you'll find that on the YouTube channel, all right? You do need some tools. I want you to grab a pair of moderate dumbbells and then maybe a mat if you're on a hard surface. All right, grab your gear, let's go. Jan, woo, who's a YouTube subscriber, and I are here to show you a leg and ab workout. Now, we need to get warmed up first, so get your tools off to the side. You ready, Jan? Ready. All right, here we go. Feet hip width apart for me. Push your bum back, give me a squat. Now drive up off the heels. Good, do it again. When we squat, our knees are tracking straight ahead. Our body is square to the TV or wherever you're watching me from. You're keeping that squat looking pretty. So this is so awesome that you came by. If you are into sort of a beginner's full series of workouts, head to the channel. Like I said in the intro, I've got other workouts specific for beginners for you. And if you're not a beginner, grab heavier dumbbells. I'll still kick your ass. Here we go, last four, three, two, one more, one. All right, big hip circles. Let's start with the left leg, Jan. Give them nice and big drop down. So Jan here is a YouTube subscriber and She's also a member of my Patreon tribe, so it's super cool that she has joined me. Local and live. Local and live, yep. Yeah. Last two. Yeah, because I don't have many local people. Other side, ready? And lift. Make it nice and big. Yes, getting deep into that hip joint. Two more. Last one. All right, now left leg, I'm gonna go on an angle a bit. I want you to kick up with the left leg, step back for lunge. Good, let's try that again. Kick up for the hamstring, lunge for the quad and glute. So when we kick up, keep that leg as straight as you can. Focus your stare on something stationary to help with the balance. <laughs> balance, balance, there Follow. we go. Right <sighs> Warming up that right leg, you feel that at home? <laughs> Last three. How you doing, Jan? It's so much easier in my garage. Two. Yes, it's so much easier when you're not being filmed. And one. Other side. But you know what? Screw up. They love it when you screw up. Here we go. Kick up. Just don't lose count. Right, YouTube? You guys don't like it when I lose count. Or forget exercise. Or forget exercise. Oh, gosh. And you'd think I would remember the exercise because I've got it written right in front of me off camera. I'm gonna blame it on menopause. <laughs> Last four, three, two, one more, one. All right, at home, I want you to grab some water, get your dumbbells set up, because we are gonna get started. And pass the fingertips. Now I want you to sit your bum back, take a look, are the knees just a couple inches off the ground, and then drive yourself forward, good. If you've done a couple and you say, forget it, PJ, not interested in this, stand, give me squats. Now look up a little bit so that neck is in line with the spine. Good job. Feel those squats? Hope so. You go at your pace at home. Keep breathing. We're almost there. We're getting quads, core, shoulders. Time. All right, flip onto your back. Knees are bent, hands on the thighs to modify, otherwise hands light behind the ears. Now exhale, curl up, take a little, take a look past the knees and slowly lower. Good, here we go, let's go up. Now we're not pushing on the head with the hands. The hands are almost acting like a cradle for the head. Elbows are pulled back. You shouldn't see them in your peripheral vision. Easy for me to say. <laughs> and breathe. So these are our two moves at home. In 45 seconds, we flip over and go into round two. So a little ab crunch here while the legs get a break. I feel my abs. How about you, Jan? Oh my god. Yeah. Simple little movement. <laughs> Time. 
It's effective. But you know why too? Because we worked our abs on the first move too. All right, so get set up in that plank. So where do you want the wrist? Just under the shoulders. Head is past those fingertips. Feet are hip width apart or a little wider. Now sit your bum back, knees close to the ground, drive forward. Again, you don't like this, stand, squats and heel lift, okay? This can be a little stressful on the wrists and shoulders. Yep, feel yep. the abs now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The only thing Jan said to me is, yes, I'd love to come help you, just no abs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Always the giver. <laughs> Always the giver. Love it. Oh, my thighs, though. Love this move to hit the quads. Time. All right, set up for our crunch, remember. Knees are bent, that protects the low back. Hands are light behind the head. We're not gonna push on that head with those hands. Exhale, curl up, release. Good, 45 seconds here. Now I'm part of the conspiracy to start before the timer. Yes, <laughs> you're part of it now. See how easy it is? <laughs> So one more round at home. Forty-five seconds is free. Time. Forty-five seconds is long. <laughs> okay. So where is our setup at home? Remember, you can stand and do squats if you'd like. Otherwise. Wrists under shoulders, head past the fingertips, feet wider than the hips, sit your bum back, drive forward, neck in line with the spine so you're looking up slightly ahead of you. I'm gonna find a whole new way to burn your quads though for the next series, so don't worry. <laughs> You're not, not out of it yet. Time! All right, ab crunch, then we grab some water. Here we go. I thought we were done. <laughs> <sighs> Slight chin tuck, here we go. Exhale, lift and crunch. So here's a quick tip at home. By doing ab crunches doesn't mean we're gonna make the abs smaller, okay? You can't spot train. You can't do an exercise for one body part and hope to see that body part lose body fat in that one area. I'm afraid the body does not work that way. What you gotta do is make sure you check what you're doing when you're eating, so check what you're doing in the kitchen. And then with the workouts, we're burning calories throughout the body, so that's fuel and fat. And eventually, your trouble areas will come off. For most of us, it is the abdomen. Duh, all right, come on up at home. We'll need dumbbells for the next set, and um, Jan and I are going to grab something for under our knees, so if you've got a hard surface, you might want to grab that mat. So, three rounds for the next two moves again. We'll alternate between a leg move and a core move once again, so we give the legs ample opportunity to rest and recover. You can grab one or two dumbbells, dependent on where you are in your fitness journey. Okay. I'll quickly show you the two moves. We'll start with a sumo squat. So if you've got two dumbbells, this is where you're going to hold the dumbbells. If you've got one dumbbell, hold it up high. Another option, just starting out, no dumbbells, right? Feet wide, toes turned out, chest lifted, coming down. Those knees are tracking with the toes. We call this a sumo squat. It hits a little bit more glute and hamstring, okay? So our previous squat pattern hit more quad. 
So we'll balance that baby out by hitting more hamstring and glute. Then from there, Jan and I are gonna go on the knees, so are you, <laughs> and we've got just a single leg lift. So you're on your knees and just single leg lift. Now if this is too easy for you, I want you to do double leg lift, okay? Or double knee lift would be a better way of explaining it. Got it at home? Awesome. So, pick your weapon. One or two dumbbells. Feet turned out. Chest lifted. You ready, Jen? Ready. All right, here we go. Come down, chest lifted. Don't round that back. Knees tracking with the toes. Take a look. Awesome. Coming down and then all the way up. Straighten those legs. You have longer arms than me. <laughs> uh -huh. so I don't have to go down as far. <laughs> It's okay, you'll have a perkier bum than me then. <laughs> you gotta go down deeper. <laughs> this will give you a perky bum at home. <laughs> when I teach my classes, we have a mantra, ass like a 20 year old. We keep saying that when we squat. How are your weights hitting the ground every time? What are you doing? Seriously, apparently I'm not. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get in that play. So start on the knees at home, elbows under shoulders. Now, level the body so it's parallel to the ground, okay? Tuck the toes under. Now lift one knee up, bend the knee back down to the mat. Now the other knee up. Good. Alternate this. If you want to increase the intensity, we can lift both knees off at the same time and slowly lower. Both and lower. The entire time we're keeping the body parallel to the floor really strong plank here. So plank is probably one of the, the most effective exercises to hit your core. It's not those crunches we did before. They're good, but this is better. And then neck in line with the spine. Always remember, tip of the head down to the tailbone. How is that all looking? Because whatever we strengthen ourselves in, whatever posture we're in, time is what we're gonna strengthen ourselves in and we wanna be good posture. That was really bad English, but hey. Gooder than me. <laughs> Gooder than you. <laughs> Chest lifted and go. Let's see, Jen can hit the ground. How are you not holding the... Yeah, oh. I must have really long. I should long play basketball. Long fingers, long arms. Yeah. And... Or I really suck. <laughs> no, I don't think you really suck. Really... Oh, I love how you immediately went to. <laughs> or I just suck. <laughs> so much easier in the garage. Yes, Jan is not used to being in front of her camera. This is, the, is this the first time first. you've been in front of a camera? This is my debut. Woo! <laughs> and we were here to witness it, YouTube. To all my friends. <laughs> yes, I'd like to thank you for your support. <laughs> Say no to the email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, time! All right, back to play. Yeah, Jen usually uh, watches me on her iPad in her garage. <laughs> All right, so elbows under shoulders. Nice long plank, neck in line with the spine, tuck the toes under, and then you can single knee up or both knees, up to you. Just don't pike the bum up. Keep that tush down, please. Maybe if they have like an Oscars for YouTube videos, you can win Best Supporting. Oh, nice! <laughs> Nominated. <laughs> That's killing my abs. Is it? Yes. Yeah! Woo! Did you say no abs? I, I kind of promised you no abs, sorry. I also lie. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> to get people to come onto my videos. Okay. Time! Here we go, last round at home. <laughs> All right. Chest lifted, toes turned out. Look ahead and drop her down. Bum going down. Can you get those thighs parallel to your floor? If you can't, get rid of the dumbbells and let's aim for depth of squat first and then we can add dumbbells as you get stronger.
Final plank, knee tap coming up. Done. All right, get set up for that final plank. We'll grab some water after this. Elbows under shoulders, nice long line, right? Remember what I was talking about, tip of the head to the tailbone? Once you've established that, tuck the toes under and now lift single knee or double. And breathe. Right. The muscles love oxygen. Give it to them. I'm not one of those trainers though that will cue you when to breathe because I find it super confusing. Just breathe when it feels right. <laughs> well, there, are, there is supposed to be a time when we're supposed to exhale on exertion. Uh, just breathe. Do you feel your quads at home? Jan, you feel your quads too? Uh, no, not as much as my abs. abs. <laughs> You're a good sport, Jan. Oh yeah. Come on, dive. Nicely done at home. Now keep all your tools because we will need them for the next two moves. If you need a sip of water like Jan and I do, go for it. Then I'll quickly review the next two moves. So, back to legs, reverse lunges, without dumb, sorry, with or without dumbbells, your choice. And then we are back down, knees on the ground. So, if you choose to do dumbbells, one on each hand. If you choose to hold on to one dumbbell, hold on to it just like we did previous. Feet hip width apart, step back, knee lines up with the ankle, drop that back knee down for our lunge pattern. Second move, we're gonna apply it this time from the hands. Create that long line, tip of the head to tailbone. Then from there, alternate shoulder tap. Really, really good move to hit your obliques, your waist muscles, okay? And then if you're more advanced, come off of the knees. All right, three rounds. <laughs> Side face? Nope. Back. All right. So we're going to do a reverse lunge. I find stepping back for our lunge is easier on the knees. Come on, timer. Ready? Go. Step back. Good. How low can you drop that back knee down to your ground? That front knee, take a peek. You want it lined up with the ankle. And then your posture. Again, nice and tall. Whatever posture we're in when we're lifting is what we're going to strengthen it in. And we want to strengthen nice, tall. So a lot of muscles in this movement in addition to your abs. You get a ton of core fired up with a lunge pattern. Time. Okay, so plank. So straight arms though. So you've got that option on the knees. Now get the wrists so they're right under the shoulders. Take a look. Okay, Okay. now from here, slowly bring the hand to the opposite shoulder, pause, and release. Other side. Pause, release. So we want that pause. When you do that pause, whoo, can you feel those abs fired up? If you're like, oh, this is no problem, try it with straight legs then. Keep those hips quiet. We're not twisting. Nice long spine, looking slightly ahead of you. So with my debut, if I look good on the video, do I get an invitation back? Of course. <sighs> <laughs> what are they saying? You're just showing up. You got an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Die. All right. There we go. Reverse lunge. <laughs> now the expectation is every week. Here we go. You know where I live. Step back. Yep. Go. Lunge. Yeah, YouTube, if you live local and you want to join Jan and I, drop me a message down below. Come on vacation. Delta's beautiful. Yes, actually, come on vacation. V Vancouver. And you have people who follow you 
around the world, right? Yes. Yeah. Crazy. I'm big in India. Huh. <laughs> and by big, I mean like a dozen people. <laughs> <laughs> gotta start somewhere. Yeah, gotta start somewhere. <laughs> um, done. Back to playing. Most of my subscribers are American. Because I once wore a Michelle Obama shirt and woo! You guys either liked that or you did not like that. <laughs> and play and go. And it was by no political agenda on mine. I'm a Canadian. I just love supporting other strong women. A job at home. This is starting to hurt your wrist. Come down into a forearm plank and just hold that, okay? So loving husband and I watched the cutest, well, he didn't watch it, he was on his phone, watched the cutest movie the other night. Christopher Robin, have you watched that? Ooh. With Ewan McGregor, but Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> it was such a sweet little movie about time. Last said about the loss of your youth. It really is. Oh. Christopher Robin grows up and becomes an anal retentive adult. <laughs> and Winnie the Pooh has to help him find his way back. It was it was good. Go. Good. I'll get you to come forward more. Okay. Yeah, even a bit more. Um, I recommend it at home if you're looking for a nice little sweet movie you can watch with the whole family. <laughs> Maybe not your loving husband unless he's got his phone too to scroll through. But it's a movie that I can't remember the last time I haven't watched a movie where no one died. <laughs> right? Like we recently went to see John Wick. Holy crap! Yikes. You got like 150 people that died before the credits even started. <laughs> Good movie. But time. Sometimes you just need something a little chill. Here we go, on the knees. Wrists under shoulders, so get that plank set up, okay? Always get your form ready and begin. Good, you can be on the knees or off, your choice. If you're starting to get tired, drop down on the knees. The whole goal here is to finish to the end, okay? Or maybe hold the plank. You're not moving the arms at all. Just hang with Jan and I, we're almost there. And then loving husband and I are going to Europe. Woo! In less than a month now. Wow. Yes. So we've been binge watching Rick Steves. I love Rick Steves. If you don't know who he is, check out his YouTube channel. If you ever go to Europe, he's the man. Time. Woo! All right at home. The next series of moves, no dumbbells, and we're on the mat the entire time. So, we can put our tools away. Now, we are also going to decrease our rest time a bit so we flow through this. Next series of moves is fantastic, especially if you've ever experienced knee pain. We're strengthening the areas of the body that tend to be weak and contribute to knee pain. Hamstrings, glutes, and outer hip muscles that we call the glute medius, all right? Jan and I will start down. Start on the left leg at home, and we'll drive up for a single leg bridge, okay? And then from there, we'll lie on our side so the right leg starts to do the next two moves. We flow through that same side for two rounds and then we'll do the other side. Or three rounds, pardon me. All right, so left leg. Now, have the heel fairly close to the bum. Now pull the toe up off the ground so the heel is digging into the ground. Arms down by your side, palms up, or ideally what I call robot arms. So then we don't push off with the hands, okay? Here we go. Let's drive up and back down. Now when you drive up, are both hip bones square? Or is that right side dropping? If it's dropping, fix it. How do you fix it? <laughs> Squeeze that right tush. Yes, yeah, so loving husband and I are going to Europe for the first time in our lives for our 25th wedding anniversary. 
and we are cramming in four countries in 21 days. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. So make sure you're following me on Instagram, Fitness with PJ, and you can follow my journeys. You know, work out on time. Feet. Yeah. Since well, I'm gonna try and do some workouts. All right, lie on your side. Bottom leg is bent. Now turn that top hip forward. Top leg back. Lead with the heel and lift. Unfortunately, we're not in really any one place for too long to try out any of their gyms or. You could get loving husband to film. <laughs> yeah. Get a little uh, 20 minute hit workout done in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> now take a look at home. Are you leading with the heel? A lot of us will go toe up and that kicks out the muscle we're trying to aim. So you want to feel that outer hip. When the timer goes, we'll stay on this side and continue hitting that same muscle, but a different movement. Now, good. Now bring the knees forward. Keep the feet stacked, keep that top hip pointed forward, and now lift the top knee with the feet together up and down. These are called clams. So you should be feeling that outer hip muscle, yes? Jan, you feel it? Oh yeah. Woo, good. So if you've ever been to physio for knee pain, you might remember these moves. They might have given you these moves. This small little muscle group is notoriously weak on us, especially women and that creates a lot of havoc into the knees. So there you go, not on my watch. I'm gonna keep those knees of yours strong. And when the timer goes, we flow back to that left leg bridge. Oh yeah, time. All right, so from the top. So pull the toe up, left leg, cross the leg over. Elbows in, arms are up. Drive the hips up, keep the hip bones even, and lower. When the bum is down, try to get back right up again so you're not hanging out on that mat too long. Constant reps. So you two, if you live in Amsterdam, Burge, Belgium, Paris, France, oh gosh, I forget the other places we're visiting. Oh, oh, oh. Let me know. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be in your neighborhood. Province. Unfortunately, the lavender will be done by September. Back up to Strasbourg. And then through Germany to Copenhagen. Die. All right. Law on your side. So what was the cue? Bottom leg bent. Take that top hip. Point it towards the ground. Top leg push back. Lead with the heel and lift. These little cues I'm giving you are super important because it'll help you isolate that muscle group we're trying to hit. Have you been to Europe, Jen? Yeah, it's like Switzerland. That's it. <gasps> we were going to go to Switzerland. <laughs> it was beautiful. I was in yeah. the French part of Switzerland. Okay. Lovely. Yes, all the great places are high up, right? Because you want to go to the Swiss mountains. Mm -hmm. And we just didn't have the time to do that. But yeah, I hear it's expensive. Very. Time. Now knees in, clam. So you keep the feet together, lift that top knee up. Okay, ready and up. Whoa, yeah. Now, I want you at home to put the hand on that top hip for me, okay? Just as a reminder, we're not rolling back. We're keeping those hips stacked. The movement's coming more from the leg part of the hip, not the top, the lower lumbar part. Ow. Yeah, yeah, I know. Super effective. So good news at home, we only have one more round left. That could be also positions bad news but <laughs> on this side <laughs> on this side yep uh -huh. Woo! time okay back to that left leg bridge pull the toe up elbows in close to the body palms off the ground and drive up how long were you in switzerland for 
I went to visit, my sister lived there for 10 years. Oh, wow. I to visit for a couple weeks. It was awesome. Yeah, yes. If you have somewhere to stay, that just takes so much of your budget away. Yes. And drank all her wine. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> she still loves me. Maybe there'll be somebody at YouTube who watches my channel. I can stay with them. <laughs> Come stay, PJ. <laughs> Did you say you're going to Italy? Time. No, I'm going to save Italy for my 50th birthday, which is in March. All right. Top leg straight, angle that hip down, back leg, and lead with the heel. So our goal is to do a month in Italy. Wow. Because 50. 50 is just around the corner. Didn't Italy just get the heat wave? Olympics. Oh, did they get the winter or Next summer? Winter. Winter? I don't know about having the Olympics. It just seems, it's, we've had the Olympics in Vancouver. It would just seem like a huge tax burden on us. I'm not sure if it really improved the economy that much, if you offset it with the taxes. We went to Hawaii during the Olympics here. We got out of town. Time. All right, knees bent. Keep the feet together. That's crucial on this move. Just lift that knee. Keep that hip pointed forwards. So Jan and I are going to flip our heads around for the next set. You don't have to at home. It's just when we flip into a side position, we don't want our backs to you. But we'll move into the same series that we did, but now with the right foot on the ground for our bridge. Oh, wow. This is super effective, isn't it, at home? Whew. Time. All right, so Jen and I are flipping. Oh. I thought maybe your battery was dead. <laughs> About down. Here we go. Right foot, pull the right toe up and drive up. Hips up. Good. Keep those hips squared. So this is our last series of moves. So hang in there at home. Left leg, side leg lift coming up. going to hit a different muscle. It's not going to get our glute meat, that area in the side of the hip we're aiming to trade right now. Oh, it's already tired. Uh-oh. We're in trouble, Jan. <laughs> I'm struggling with coordination. <laughs> I can't see. There's, there's, <laughs> only, there's only one you. I can't seem to match. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. They'll just see some <laughs> random leg lifting behind me every rep. <laughs> Dive! All right, knees are bent. I'm gonna move down a bit. You move that way a bit. Here we go. Knees bent. Keep the feet together. That hip is angled down and lift the knee up. So if you can, I want you to, or if you can, can you please put your hand on top of that hip as a reminder to keep the hip pointed down. Round two, coming up. Holy F-bomb. <laughs> I 
but pretty amazing what you can do with just body weight hey, at home. And as I said, these are crucial muscles for the knees. That's specifically why I chose this whole series for the beginner's knee program here. All right, on the back, right knee bent, cross over, arms down by your side, drive the hips, and those hip bones are even, yes? Good. So did you fly into Switzerland direct? Uh, I can't even remember, it was so many years ago. Uh, Geneva, I think. Okay, I hear that's beautiful. It's only there in the middle of the night. So oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Neuchâtel is lovely though. And that's where she lives? Mm -hmm. How far out of Geneva is that? Uh, it was a two hour, an hour and a half. Okay, uh, that's the thing with Europe, like within two hours you're in a middle of a country or a different country. It's yeah. so amazing. Time! Alright, here we go. Side leg, so what do we want to do? Point that hip down, turn the toe down, lead with the heel, leg back. And you know, all open borders. The transportation system looks amazing. But loving husband wants me to pack just to carry on <laughs> for 21 days. For your toiletries, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I said! <laughs> that's exactly what I said! Usually when we travel, like a whole bag is my toiletries. <sighs> He's like, you don't need all of that. Just give your face a break for three weeks. Bend the knees. I'm like, I'm not looking ugly for three weeks. Here we go. Feet together and lift. I'm going to see if I can do it though. Just to carry on. Again, follow me on Instagram. There'll be highlights of that. Where are you supposed to put all the stuff you buy though? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge shopper, so I'm not sure how much I buy, mm. but, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you got to take into the count, so you can't even bring like a full carry on when you go across. Is it over yet? How many almost, minutes? almost. We got one more set to go after this. Die. Oh, just kill her. Woo. But Rick Steves, again, love that man. He says only carry on. Go, right leg bridge. He even has a PDF as to what you should pack. But he's also a guy who washes his hair with a bar of soap. <laughs> so, I need to find myself a woman who packs just for carry on and what she brings. I swear it's not the workouts, but I'm crying. <laughs> this is it. We'll give the glutes a stretch and then you can continue on with your day at home. This last little part is a long series, I know, time. But again, the reason being is I really wanted to hit those muscles. Here we go. Hip pointed down. Take that top leg, push it back, lead with the heel and lift. So those of you watching, after you've done the workout, let me know below. Do you just travel with a carry-on? If you do, how do you solve that toiletry problem? <laughs> Naked is in, I hear. Naked is in, oh gosh. No. <laughs> My days of naked are over. <laughs> Whoa. Time. Knees bent. This is it. Last exercise, Jan. Woo! Let's go. Hip pointed down. Lift the knee. Keep those feet together.
So this video is a little longer than what I had wanted it to be. So good for you for hanging in there with us. Even though it is longer, it's still really good video for beginners and Jen and I, we're getting a good workout. So for all levels. Time, woo! All right, on the backs, pull the knees into the chest, rock the knees side to side, kiff those hips and glutes. A nice stretch. Oh, that feels good. So don't leave me yet, YouTube. I've got a couple of stretches I want to hit here before you continue on with your day. Let's start with the hips, or continue with the hips. Take the right leg, cross the ankle over the left thigh. This is called a figure four stretch. Now this may be enough of a stretch for you. You may feel that in the hip there. If not, lift that leg off the ground, bring the hands in behind that right, or sorry, left knee and draw it in. Woo! And you'll feel right away what muscles you've just trained for the last 40 minutes. Release, other side. Again, this may be enough for you, at which point stay there, or lift the leg up, hands behind that right thigh, and then guide that right knee in towards the outside of the right shoulder. That'll give you a better stretch. Release. Feet about hip width apart, bring your arms in a T position, lined up with the shoulders, palms up, drop your knees to your right. And then from there, take that right foot and hook it on the outside of that left knee. Getting into the outer hip a bit more, IT band, low back. And you may even find a nice stretch across the front of the body, the chest. Unhook the leg, back to center. So readjust the pelvis, and again, you want your feet mat width apart. You don't want them together on this stretch. Drop them to the other side. Left foot, hook it on the outside of that right knee. And back to center. Roll yourself up to a seated position. Final stretch for the hamstrings. Legs are straight in front of you, pull the toes towards you, press the knees down to your mat, bring the hands behind you to help situate, situate yourself nice and tall, and then press forward. Feel that in the back of the thighs, maybe even the low back. So thank you so much for joining us. This has been awesome. Now if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and then click that notification bell that will appear right after you subscribe. And then drop a comment below. I'd love to know, how do you travel? <laughs> do you travel with just a carry-on? <laughs> and release. Well done, we will see you next workout. Bye. Woo! Yeah, well done, your debut. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Good job. How many times would I?